Hi, I'm Natalie of SoHungryHippie.com and today's skill builder video is all about bag linings. Uh, we have seen some messages about baggy bag linings and there are a few little easy, simple tips that you can employ to make sure your lining bag, your bag lining is super tight and clean and crisp and looks great. And I have to say, I use these most of the time now without even thinking about it. So let's review, I'm gonna call it the three best tips to have a tight bag lining. So let me take you overhead. We are going to pretend that this is my bag lining and it can absolutely apply to pouches as well. So this is a, roughly the size of an easy, large, easy zipper case. So let's just pretend this is the lining. Normally I call for between a quarter of an inch to a half an inch seam allowance on most of my bag patterns. So let's, if this is, if this is a half an inch, which would be the normal seam allowance, let's say for the exterior, right? For my bag lining, I'm gonna go a smidge beyond, and it's not much, but it's enough to make a difference. So I'm gonna use this outer line as my seam allowance, and what I'm careful of is at the top, I usually have zipper tabs in most of my bag patterns, and I never wanna sew over a zipper tab. So if my tab ends here, okay, let's say that that marking is where my tab rests, then I'm gonna take this larger seam allowance up, and then somewhere around here, I'm gonna, start to veer back in just a little bit so I'm missing that zipper tab. I'm just gonna kinda scooch around it a smidge. It's not gonna be visible to your eyes when the bag is finished. You will still have a very clean, crisp zipper tab end. One of the things in my patterns is I want you to not ever sew over the zipper tabs because then they're gonna be crunched and pinched and weird looking. So for my lining, I'm going to start a smidge bigger and then I just kind of veer in at the very top by the zipper tab. That's one thing I do. The other thing I do is when I have my lining pressed back into the bag, I take the time to press it with my iron and get it really flat. And then I will take a hand sewing needle and some thread and tack down each corner. It only takes like three stitches and it's very fast. I don't like hand sewing a lot. So believe me when I tell you this is super simple and super fast and it makes a huge difference, honestly, because then it's never getting pulled up and looking bunchy. You can actually tack it down. By tack it down, that means the little hand whip stitches really quickly. Use a matching thread to your bag lining and you're gonna love the result. Okay, let me show you on the sewing machine what I am talking about with this seam allowance. So I'm probably sewing the pouch together. I'm gonna start along the bottom just like I would. Get to the corner, pivot, I'm coming up. Now I'm taking a bigger seam allowance than the exterior. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Now, right around here, I'm gonna start to slightly veer in, not a ton, and it's not sudden. You don't want your eyes to see it. And then here, I'm at the usual seam allowance, missing that zipper tab, which would be sitting right here. So let me show you on the overhead camera here. You know what I should do? I should turn this fabric inside out. So I just want this to be so super clear because it is such a simple tip and it'll change your bag making. And some people don't, don't agree with this. So, you know, do your own, figure out your own method. That's, that's great. That's why we're sewists. I'm going to sew it wrong sides together here so that you can clearly see what I'm doing. Let's start a little bit bigger. 
Draw it if you need to. Now let's sew it. And this I, I probably should have marked the other side because now I have to do it like this. That's okay. I'm starting to veer in. You can even turn down your stitch length to be a little smaller. And there we are. <laughs> so you can see I start out here and then I just slightly move in. And this is the top. So we'd be looking at it like this. See how I just kind of scooch in there at the edge. Okay, I do that all the time. Now the other thing you can do, the third thing you can do, you can adjust your seam allowance, number one. Number two, tack the corners down inside the bag. Uh, and number three, you can cut your lining a little bit smaller than the outside of the bag. Now I stress caution with this because I have seen people cut this too much and then their lining is suspended in the bag and it's not down sitting down at the bottom of the bag where it should be. So if your lining is suspended, it's taking all the stress of the contents of your bag and it will eventually fail. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> so let me, let me sew up the other side of this and then I'm going to show you how much I would cut it down if I did that technique. I, I do have to say, the first, the first uh, edition of Easy Zipper Cases, I had the lining cut smaller. I had the lining a half of an inch smaller than the exterior for this very reason. And on, I think, the 200th email, questioning my pattern, I thought, forget this, I'm never doing this again. Because <laughs> a lot of times if you're new, you don't understand what the reason is behind that. So I took it out, everything is the same now, and you can just employ these techniques instead. When you are cutting your lining down to be a tighter fit, I usually do not cut it from the bottom. I test the fit first in my bag, and then I will cut it. If it's a drop-in lining, I will cut just a smidge over a quarter of an inch away. I no longer do half an inch because I feel like it's too dead on, and if there's any uh, deviation on seam allowance, there's no room to fix it then. So I will cut about that much off, and then proceed. Now, if this top edge was a zipper, let's pretend this is a Santorini tote, and you've fitted everything and your, your lining is way too baggy, then first come in and re-sew your side seams. And then if your bottom is way too baggy, too much material, then cut off half an inch. Quarter, an in quarter of an inch to start, half an inch at the most and then close it up. Now, the other thing you could do if you don't, if you're too scared to cut material away, you can just tuck in more. There have been times I've tucked in on other patterns like almost an inch to make the lining really tight. See how much material I've tucked under there? There's no rule about how much you can tuck under. So you can always do that instead of cutting material away or instead of cutting your lining smaller. The thing about cutting is it's permanent. <laughs> if you have to fix something that you cut too small, then you're gonna have a seam because you'll have to add material. So I, I think cutting is a last resort unless you're really confident and very experienced. Then do your thing. But if you're newish to this or not as confident, I would suggest just folding in more fabric in that bottom edge to start with. 
And I am talking about patterns that have you turn the bag through the bottom lining, which is quite a few. That's kind of a mainstream technique out there. Uh, and if you're turning a bag through a zipper pocket or some other, like the side seam or whatever, then stick with doing the seams bigger and then tacking the corners. I have a hand needle here. I'm gonna box this really quick and show you what I mean. Just so nobody's questioning. And we're all on the same page. Nothing like clarity. So let's say I'm doing a two inch corner. And as always, let me know if there's a technique that you want to see. In these skill builder sessions, because I love sharing whatever I've learned. I don't want you to struggle. I want you to be confident and build your skills with ease. Okay, so I've got this little boxed pouch piece now, right? So what I would do, let's pretend this is the lining and it's in my bag. I would take my needle and most of the time I just grab the thread from my machine because it's right there. Put it through the eye. You don't want too much. What? Pull it down so you don't lose that. And then you'll wanna make a knot or a couple of knots. Sometimes I'll even do double thread because it is a corner and it can take, like if you have double thread here, that's really good. So do it double, make your knot, and that way the knot is big enough it won't just pop through the fabric. I know how to do that. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Usually I make knots a lot better than that but I've got shakes. There we go. Okay, so this would be sitting in another bag. Geez, do I need to sew up another bag? Here, let's, let's take this one. This corner I did not tack down. So the easiest thing to do is to turn it inside out. and make sure your exterior corner is really popped out and into that line. It's almost as if you're just turning your bag reversible. Now the, the trick here is you're gonna start in this crevice. So this is the seam. I, so you wanna start in that seam and you're grabbing the tiniest bite, okay? It's just the tiniest bite. But by sitting in that crevice, it's going to hide your knot because we're going to trim those tails 100% away. And that's all you need right there. You see that? So I take my nails, my nails, my tails, I do a circle and I pull the needle through. This is a surgical knot. That's how they do knots for sutures and surgery. That's what I call it. I don't know if it's called something in sewing. So that's got two surgical knots there. And then you can completely get the tails out. So now you would never see that. You would never ever see that. And that corner is not going anywhere. That lining is tight in that corner now. So I would do it to this corner. Then I'd come over here. Again, starting in that middle seam so my knot is hidden. Let's do it again. You want to make sure 
that your knot is big enough, you might have to make three knots here on the end, depending on the thickness of your thread. But I'm using Guterman all purpose. Let me go over the black so you can see me. We might just be able to do that. Let me be, let me, let me do all of this over the black. Maybe that will be simpler. So I'm just making a knot. And now here's the middle seam. I'm gonna go up through that corner. I'm grabbing just like a thread of the inside and outside pouch and then go through again, grab my tails. Before that circle is all the way through, I'll pull. So now we've got a knot. And then, oh, I got caught on that knot. Sorry. There's, there's a knot. So now I take my tails, make a circle, pull the needle through, make a circle, and pull the needle through. Pull it tight. Trim it all the way down. You don't need any tails there at all. The knot is hidden in that little indent. And now when you turn it out, you can't see it because you just grabbed it inside that seam. And it's gonna be super tight and nice looking. Play with this. You'll be able to do it. Some, everything needs a little bit of practice. Don't expect to be an expert straight away. So let me know if you have any questions or if you need anything at all regarding this short tutorial. Let's sum it up. You're gonna take a slightly bigger seam allowance. You're gonna tack down your corners. And then if you need to, you can trim your fabric, but I suggest you turn it under more in the, in the place that you turn the bag right side out to start with. If that's not enough or you don't like the result, then trim the fabric. You can cut your lining smaller if you want to, but be conservative with how much smaller you're making it to start till you find your Goldilocks, you know? I think that's a wrap. I hope this helped you. Please let us know in the comments if it helped or if you need to see something else or if you have any other ideas that you'd like me to go over. I'm happy and willing to do it. All right, take care of you. I will see you next week.